train and the platform. Cultura Inglesa Radio. Radio. Hi everyone, welcome back to another podcast by Cultura Inglesa. I'm Alex and on this show, coming to you from East London, we're going to evoke some songs about towns and cities to explore the usage of some prepositions of the English language. I don't mind. Uh, you'd be amazed uh, how many songs about countries and states and cities and towns there are out there. So I had to narrow down the subject a little bit and decided to work only with songs that got cities on the title. For instance, this song in the background is called Chicago, but we're starting with the most popular city in music, which is New York. Uh, there are almost 4,000 songs about New York. Um, you know, a lot of them are really good, like Frank Sinatra's classic. But I picked this one because this one tells us a great deal about prepositions. And there's a verse in particular that is quite uh, didactic. So that's the Ryan Adams song. And uh, in this part, he says, I lived in an, in an apartment out on Avenue A. So what does that verse tell us? Well, we need in to say where we live, you know. So I live in a house or in an apartment, which is the case here, or in a flat. If you are in England, people don't say apartment, they say flat. On the street, so-and-so, or on Avenue A, which is the case here. And he also says right after that verse, that he lived uh, in a tar hut on the corner of 10th as well. So this is a different place. A tar hut is maybe a very small um, house uh, on the corner of the Avenue 10. However, if you want to say the neighborhood or the area that you live in, then you need a preposition in because you're inside that area. So I live in Manhattan. Uh, in New York on 3rd Avenue and to make things more complicated if you're talking about a full address then the preposition that you have to use is at so I live at 19 Vivian Road or I live at 5 3rd Avenue Moving on to London now, because London and Paris, they are very popular as well, right after New York, they're the two most popular cities in music. However, Paris, most of the songs um, about Paris are in French, which is useless for us at the moment. So we're picking a song about London. Um, out of more than 3,000 songs about London, that this classic by The Clash might be the most famous one. And um, in the chorus, the, ly the lyrics go, uh, London is drowning and I live by the river. So the preposition by here implies that he lives close to the river or near the river or next to the river. You can also um, say I live by the coast or I live by the sea or my house is by the mountains. Um, so there you go. Moving on to Rio de Janeiro. Uh, the majority of the songs about Rio, of course, are in Portuguese. However, there's a lot of songs in English that carries Rio on the title. And um, one example is this song here by a, an American singer called Barry White. He's got a very nice voice. And uh, he wrote a song called Rio de Janeiro, as he pronounces. And I singled out the chorus to work with. Rio, 
So what's interesting for us uh, in that song is a stretch that goes, I've been too Rio, because he could have used um, another preposition here. He could have used in, I've been in Rio. And in both cases, um, it would mean the same thing. In other words, um, he was in Rio, but he's not there anymore. Uh, I think the difference would be that to, if you use to, um, you reinforcing that that happened in the past. And if you want to say that you're still in the place, so if you're still in Rio, the only preposition that you you have um, that you can use in that case is in. Uh, two does not apply here. So, for instance, I've been in Rio for two months. Um, it's not correct to say that I've been to Rio for two months. Uh, moving on. If you're going to San Francisco. So jumping to the west coast of the United States, San Francisco is another major thing for musicians and um, lots of classics with San Francisco on the title. That particular song is a hippie anthem from the 70s by a guy called Scott McKenzie. It's a beautiful song and there's something we can uh, learn from it. So he uses in the street because um, the people are, he's saying that the people are in the middle of the streets, out there in the streets. And um, that's why he uses in. You can also say I'm playing football in the street or I'm standing in the middle of the street. But um, you work on the street, so and so. So I work on John Street. I live on Vivian Road. If you say that I live in Vivian Road, that could imply that you're a homeless person. So in general, here in England, it's much more common to hear I work on or let's meet on Vivian Street. So um, the next most popular city, according to my research, would be the home of Elvis Presley, Memphis, Tennessee. This is the amazing Chuck Berry. He's too good, he's not from this planet. He sings uh, somewhere down the song, uh, her home is on the south side, high up on a ridge. So again, on the south side, but you could also say in, I live in the south side of Memphis, that's okay as well. And high up on a ridge means that she lives on a hilltop, on the summit of a hill. Um, you need preposition on in this case, my house is on the top of the mountain. That's another example of um, the usage of on in this case here. So let's hear a bit more of this amazing song. Now in the voice of Elvis Presley, he also recorded that, that Chuck Berry uh, tune. Long distance information near me, Memphis, Tennessee. Help me find the party trying to get in touch with me. And close to Memphis in Tennessee, we have Jackson. We've been talking about Jackson ever since the fire went out. I'm going to Jackson. Uh, that song was recorded by um, different artists. The most famous version is definitely this one by uh, Johnny Cash and June Carter. And uh, what's relevant for us here is a snippet that goes When I breeze into that city. When I breeze into that city breeze into somewhere means to enter quickly in a happy manner so um, I started to play some music and my kid breezed into the room 
so he came quickly and all happy, uh, maybe smiling. Breeze into is a phrase of her. Now let's move on to the City of Lights. Las Vegas is very popular in music as well, but I'm picking this one here by Sherry Curl because I want to point out uh, an expression. Uh, living for good, what does that mean? Uh, simply it means forever, uh, permanently. So if I'm moving to London for good, uh, it means that I'm gonna stay there. Um, she's living in Las Vegas for good, it means that she's not coming back. Uh, now let's jump back to England, let's go to Liverpool. It's not the leaving of Liverpool that's great. So this song is a folk, traditional folk song about Liverpool. It's called Leaving of Liverpool and I picked this one because Bob Dylan took the melody and wrote his own song based on this one. He changed the lyrics so we can uh, do an interesting comparison here. Uh, let's just play Bob Dylan's version. It's called um, Farewell. Oh, it's very well, my Uh, I would like to point out that in the first song, the one about Liverpool, there's a line that goes, I'm bound for California. And in Bob Dylan's uh, version, there's a line that goes, uh, but my true love who's bound to stay behind. So both the songs uh, have the adjective bound. Um, but in the first song, uh, bound is followed by for, the preposition for. And in Bob Dylan's song, it's followed by the preposition to. Uh, so what's the difference then? Uh, well, in the first song, bound for, uh, bound is implying direction. So he's heading to California, he's going to, or he's on his way to. And uh, in the second case, the second song, uh, bound to, the adjective bound is behaving as uh, a verb like forced or subjected to. So she has to stay, she's bound to stay, she, she's not going anywhere, she must stay. Okay, moving on to Oxford Town, another song by Bob Dylan. Oxford Town, Oxford Town, everybody's got their heads bowed down. Sun don't shine above the ground, it ain't going down to Oxford Town. That song is sort of a masterpiece. Um, and it's not about Oxford in England, it's about a town called Oxford in Mississippi. Uh, in the song he says, ain't going down to Oxford Town. For starters, ain't is a contraction. It means I am not. And um, going down to Oxford Town, this down here is uh, doesn't really mean anything. Is that to rhyme actually? But people do say that quite a lot. Like I'm gonna go down there, or I'm going going down to the shops, or um, going down to Brazil. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you you going south or it's below you on the map. It's just something that is um, common on spoken language. Uh, that's it for now guys, thank you for listening and I'd like to end the show with a very popular song in England. Uh, it's not about specific British city but um, it says a lot about loads of towns throughout the country. Uh, the name of this song is Ghost Town, it's by a band called Specials. And uh, that's it, if you have any questions please tweet with the hashtag 
Cultura Inglesa Radio. Uh, it can be a question about grammar, music, anything. If you're in class listening to the podcast, please ask your teacher. And I'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.